Welcome back everyone to the James Wise Magic Review. Today we are going to be reviewing a Magic DVD that just came out about a week ago. We are going to be reviewing Reform by Blake Voigt. Now I felt as though I really needed to review this because there is a lot of discussion, mostly hate, for this of Magic Effect. And I just recently just bought the DVD and uh, download purchase on Theory11.com. Uh, so if you do not know what I'm talking about and you have not seen this effect, um, I'll post a link in the description below for the trailer or where you can actually uh, view and purchase this uh, DVD. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I suggest pausing this video right now and uh, go in the description and actually looking at um, the link and looking at the trailer so you know what I'm talking about so you can probably understand um, all the controversy that's going on right now. Alright, so what this effect is, Reform is an impromptu torn and restored card effect. Basically, uh, it's, you know, you tear a card up and you rest into four quarters and you restore it. Now this card, it, like I said, it's completely impromptu, there's no gimmicks whatsoever, there's no setup, you only use one card, you can, be uh, you can perform it surrounded, uh, the card can be signed. For a Torn Restored card effect, this is incredible because most Torn Restored card effects, you know, anyone behind you will see how it's done or involves some sort of gimmicks or setup. Uh, there's several uh, Torn Restored effects out there that I know of and I perform and I love them. But to have that freedom is just amazing. Alright, the DVD quality and the teaching in this video is, well, it's top of the line, of course. It's Theory 11, so of course you're going to have amazing uh, camera work, editing, sound, music, and all that stuff. So, um, great stuff, so I really shouldn't even tell you about that. I mean, that's like total, the winning. Alright, so, the question is, is it practical? This is where it starts to get a little bit edgy, because most magicians are hating this. The reason is, is because after you tear it up and restore it, you cannot I repeat, cannot immediately hand it out to a spectator and let it uh, let them keep it as a souvenir. You actually use a pattern saying that you know uh, after you restore it, you say you know such a thing is quite impossible, so I had to get rid of the evidence. So you tear it back up and give the pieces to the spectator. That's what's getting a lot of people to hate this effect. A lot of people are like, oh, that makes no sense. Why would you tear a card up, restore it, and then just to tear it back up and give it to the spectator? You know, it makes no sense. Well. I have bought this DVD in the download. I watched the download, and I can say I'm not disappointed whatsoever. I wasn't even disappointed when I first saw the trailer. Apparently, a lot of people were. To me, it doesn't, that doesn't matter. You have to remember, we are thinking this from a magician's point of view. I mean, unless you're a layman watching this right now, but most of you people that are watching this right now are magicians. Um, we are thinking this through a magician's point of view. So, of course, we're going to have a mindset of, Oh well, that's that, that trick sucks because you know you have to rip it up in the, in the in the ending. But you have to remember, to laymen, that doesn't really even go by their mind. What you just did, and that is my phone going off. <laughs> Sorry about that. My phone went off. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, um, you have to remember that what you did was just spectacular and completely insane. You just tore a card up and restored it. Most people have never even seen that in their lives, except on like stage or uh, on um, movies or you know TV. You know, so what they just witnessed is amazing. So they're gonna be thinking of that. They're gonna be thinking, oh, well, you just tore it up again. Unless, of course, you're just performing it wrong and you're putting the wrong attention in the wrong places. Now, that being said, if you are truly, truly Annoyed with the fact that you have to tear it back up and you can't you can't hand them a souvenir. Be a little creative. I mean, come on, be a little creative with this. Think, okay. You can uh, obviously just force a card, tear it up, do the restoration, and then switch it out for a duplicate. That way, you can actually just hand it out to the spectator. Is that so difficult? I mean, seriously. Because then, because then you can have them. Uh, they can have their souvenir at the end, and you can have this freaking badass. Excuse my language. You can have this freaking badass um, torn and restored effect that you know, one card, no sub, no gimmicks, uh, completely surrounded. This is incredible. So don't hate on it just because you have to tear it up. I mean, force a card and use a duplicate at the end, 
Or if you just truly don't like this effect, don't buy it, stop complaining and move on. I mean, there's no reason, and there's no point to hate on this effect when you don't like it. I mean, okay, you'd be like, eh, I don't really like that, I'll pass. But so many people in the forums, on YouTube, everywhere, it's like, oh my gosh, this trick is so terrible, this is like really, really bad, blah, 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 blah this and that. I'm like, guys, come on, really? Be a little bit mature, think for once, and just, you know, it's an awesome, awesome torn restored effect. It's probably one of my favorites up there with Torn by Dan Garcia and uh, Counterfeit Hollingworth by Wayne Houchin. This is one of my favorites. Alright, so some personal thoughts. Like I, like I said, I just, I learned this like about 30 hours ago, so I, don't, I can't really give you a complete detailed um, uh, review about this, you know, saying how it works with before, uh, audiences and stuff. Because I personally have never, I haven't performed this for anyone yet. I'm still trying to get everything smooth and clean. Um, it's not very difficult at all. I mean, uh, I was able to do my first restoration pretty, pretty well, uh, like the first two times I did it. So um, this is this is not hard at all. So, uh, but I can only imagine that it's going it's going to be great because uh, I was listening to a podcast uh, by Theory Eleven, uh, by Blake Voigt. He was actually saying that uh, before you know he, before he released this DVD, he's been doing this for years, right? He's been doing this for years, and not once, not once has he gotten any negativity from laymen from this trick because he has to rip it up at the end. Not once, for years he's been performing this and not one layman has said oh, anything or anything negative uh, about the uh, tearing it up at the end. The only time he's only got anything negative um, about this trick is when he's at like, magic lectures and performing it to magicians. So obviously there's nothing wrong with the effects, it's just we as magicians have a mindset of how things should be, look, how things are and how things should look like and all that stuff. Remember, the lay audiences don't know what to expect, they don't know what's coming, they don't know the secret moves, they don't understand that stuff, okay? So, don't worry about it. This is an awesome, awesome torn and restored effect. Alright, so some final thoughts. This can be purchased on Theory 11 for $16.95 for the DVD. Now, what you're getting for this is completely amazing. That is a total, total steal. I would gladly pay a lot more than that for this effect. Uh, so $16.95 is amazing. I bought the DVD and download uh, at the same time, so that's $19.95, which um, is still a complete steal. So I'm very, very satisfied with this purchase, and I really hope you guys look into it and kind of think about what I said because uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of discussion and hate uh, amongst this effect, which there really shouldn't be because this is an awesome, awesome effect. So. Until next time, I should be, uh, cause I, like I said, there's a lot of stuff uh, that's been happening uh, lately. I've been a little busy, but now that I'm free, this should be, this uh, daily thing should be coming up a lot more. So, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.